What we are about to explore in this video was never meant to be seen by mortals. Welcome to Luxor, Egypt, the gateway to one of the greatest archaeological sites in the world, the Valley of the Kings. Over 3,000 years ago, the ancient Egyptian pharaohs from the New Kingdom were buried here in rock-cut tombs, including Tutankhamun and Ramses. They were sealed shut, not to be found until the 19th and 20th centuries. Over 62 tombs have been uncovered, others remain undiscovered. Let's find out what mysteries lie inside the tombs. For this, we will count on the collaboration of our friend and guide Amr. Without further ado let's get to it. Now, should we know how the ancient Egyptian people he say Valley of the Kings by the ancient Egyptian language. Ta sit hot. Ta sit hot which he meaning the great place, the great mountain. Because inside this is a mountain you will see the beautiful tombs for the great pharaohs. It's not allowed to the queens to make a tombs here because already we have another mountain for the queens, prince and the princess with a beautiful name. They of the queens, prince and princess with the ancient Egyptian language ta sit Neferu. Neferu. Neferu meaning beauty beauty place and don't forget in our history we have a Nefertari and Nefertiti. Nefertari she is the wife of Ramses II and Nefertiti she is the wife of Ekhnaton. The first is Ber meaning house okay and Ra meaning God and this one is meat and the meat is the steps. So we have a bir, ra, and meat. Birra meat. Go to house of the god. Because our Pharaoh, when he begins to make a sailing, you're meeting his god in the top. You hear me? Who I say sailing. So no one he can swimming to meeting his god in the second life so that when he began to swimming sailing i'm so sorry he began he needed a boat okay and his boat his tomb starting by entrance corridor two rooms in the both side the second corridor two rooms in the both side the third corridor shaft and after this you can see the pillar chamber and in the middle we have a sarcophagus which use it to keep the mummy inside. What about the decoration? The corridor all the time decoration by holy books. Like Book of Gates, Book of Emidiwet, what you can see in the second life, Book of Hours to another time, Book of Sky, Book of Earth, Book of Gap. All of this is a box to giving help to the pharaoh to reach a paradise without facing any problem. Then, two rooms in the both side here, use it as a bag. What you put them in your bag, Anna? Maybe water, sunglasses, sun cream, uh, some jewelry, maybe watch, the phone. Gold. You, maybe gold. Mm -hmm. What you like it to use it now? This is the same idea, Anna. The two rooms in the both side, use it as a bag to put on everything is a pharaoh he loved to use it in the second life. Gold, silver, food, uh, alcoholic, sandal, chariot, everything is a pharaoh he loved to use it in the second. Then in the second corridor, we have uh, two small holes in the second corridor. This is the holes which use it to keep inside it 365 statues. Each one for each day to giving some help, some service for the our pharaoh when he began to make a sailing to the second life. From the first corridor to the third corridor, decoration by vulture hovering. Okay, with the two names writing inside the cartouche because any pharaoh in ancient Egyptian had the five names. But we don't have enough space to write in all the time the five names. We're writing just two or inside is the cartouche. The first one is Lusubiti and the second one is Sara, a royal name and a family name. Okay? In the pearl chamber, then so before the pearl chamber here, we have a shaft. 
black up well well okay because no one you can make a jump to lose the mummy anyone will try to lose the mummy thank you oh. you will fall down okay then you go to inside the pillar of chamber and in the pillar of chamber you will see the beautiful sarcophagus one piece one block okay surrounded by four goddess Isis, Niftis, silk and the mat with the beautiful wings to carry and hug the sarcophagus with the two eyes in the both side representing the eye of the god Horus to watch to watch the way to the second life to the eternity life above the sarcophagus the roof this is the room decoration by two large figures representing the goddess Nut. Nut, she is the goddess of sky okay she is the goddess of sky and why we have a two large figures for her because one for the day and the other for the night in the night you will see here she swallows the sun in the sunset and in the day she delivers the sun in the sunrise and between the two large figures you will see the small 12 boats okay like a feluca representing the 12 hours of the day and 12 hours of the night to carry the sun from the day to night night to day day to night night to day <coughs> okay follow me Boat. You see? Look like a boat. Starting by entrance, a corridor, two rooms in the both side, the second corridor, two small holes, the third corridor, shaft here or well, and after this you see the pressure. What about the decoration inside it? This is the tomb. Number two, this is from the book Emmy Duet. What you can see in the second life, you will see the high priest Ewen. Mutaf, he giving a shower to the god Amun Ra. Okay, and you can see the god Amun Ra, the god dedicated for him, Temple Karnak Temple. Okay, because sometimes Amun Ra, you can see him as a human and sometimes animal. Animal look like a ram with the two feathers above his head. He giving him a shower by the holy water. Okay, and here he was the beautiful tuft of hair. Then Number three, inside the second corridor, you can see the god Khunum. Khunum with the ram head and the human body, he is the god of the creation. And how Khunum, he created the people by two small statues under his hand. One statue for Ka and the second one for Ba, body and soul. He mixed it together to create the people. Then here you will see the small chapter from the Book of Earth representing four people who begin to worship the sun because the ancient Egyptian people he considered the sunrise as a new day and the sunset as the end of the day. In the second corridor, in the roof, of, this is the corridor looking above you. In the fourth side here, you will see one man kneeling like this and he's surrounded by some star. This is the man have ability to say and see something about your future mm. okay then in the third corridor and i'm so sorry about this anna you will see the god osiris okay i'm so sorry anna he's sleeping like this okay and his bed look like a snake okay he mr patient and why he do this because all the decoration the roof here okay representing our pharaoh ramses the second with the other pharaohs i'm just sorry anna the main organ he become up down up down up down why because he began to accept the energy okay from the god osiris in the same corridor but in the other side you will see one man with a scarab head you know scarab yes beat it yes what you surround if you do this in yes. the karnak the temple seven times the Egyptian people, he loved to worship the scarab as a god of the creation. Why? Because we know the scarab before hatch it eggs. Okay? He bottomed this is the eggs inside the animal dung. 
okay? And he begin to push the dunk until the eggs hatch, okay? The Egyptian people, he likened this is the operation like he pushes the sun from the sunset to the sunrise because all the time the scarab when he begin to push the dunk okay to hatch the eggs all the time to to the east side so that if you lost in the desert okay if you lost in the desert and you cannot know the direction where are you okay and you find the scarab follow him because you will lead you to the east side. <laughs> if you find it the stone or mountain, never ever is surround. No, he keeping the direct to the east side. <laughs> <laughs> then here in the Persian bit, you cannot find is the sarcophagus because the sarcophagus here damaged. Okay, the ticket in your hand. Okay, starting by entrance, stair, corridor, stair, corridor, stair, all of this without any decoration. Because as I told it to you, the workers which use it to carve it, this is a tomb, he don't have enough time to finish it, this is the one. But all the decoration, what you can see in front of us now, in the pillory chamber. Okay, so for example, here you will see Ramses the third, Sir Ramses the first, surrounded by the god. Anubis, the god of symmetry, mummification, and you will be guided in the second life. And behind him, the god Horus, the falcon god, with a double crown for upper and lower Egypt, son of the god Osiris and the Isis, dedicated for him temple, Etfu temple, the second best temple in Egypt. This is what you will got to see in the last day, inshallah. In our history, we have some snakes, good and something bad, something to giving help okay like this one to carry the god and something to facing what you're facing this is the one is very very bad one and don't worry you are lucky because in the last tomb you will facing this is a snake this is the one called abu fis with the three head and the four legs and no one in the ancient egyptian time he liked it to face him. this is the one here you will see the, our god osiris inside is the nawus okay which this is osiris. osiris the green one Okay, all the time his color is the green one. Okay, carrying by the god snake and the bottom himself inside the shrine. The shrine is like a box which used to keeping the god inside it. And behind him, the god Khunum, the god of the creation. And here you can see the cobra. Watch him. The ancient Egyptian people he understood the cobra sleeping without shutting the eyes so that the cobra you were looking all the time for 24 hours the 12 hour of the right and 12 hour of the day okay and here he will see Ramses the second surrounded by the god I know this one more time and Horus then if you're looking at here come closer to the shade looking behind you you will see the nature mummy yes I'm Nature mummy. mummy. Yes. The mummy of the nature. Yes. No, the mummia. 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 Yeah. The nature. Looking with me, step by step. Looking and now into my fingers. Oh, the hair you can there. see the hair. Yeah. You can see the face. You see? You can see the neck. This is it. How long? 125 meters inside the mountain. This is the one dedicated for our Pharaoh Ramses. Some mistake happening inside this tomb. Actually, this is a tomb started by Sid Mechel, the father of Ramses the Sir. Okay, he built the stair, corridor, two rooms in the both side, the second corridor, four rooms in the both side, and when he began to build the third corridor, he got to inside the another tomb, KV number 10, for Miss M, this one. And this is a big mistake because it's not allowed to anyone to go to inside another tomb. So that Seth Nechet, the father of Ramses III, he leaves this tomb and he made another one in the other side. Ramses III, when he became a pharaoh after his father, okay, he said, I will finish it with my father to the king. So he said, to be away from the direction of this tomb, I will make a one room in the right hand side, okay, to complete the tomb to the end. But Ramses still he died before finishing. 
the field also. Okay, so that he uses this is the whole as a pillar handle. And what about the sarcophagic? Also, the sarcophagic is broken complete. Only go to inside, this is the field. It's not allowed to anyone to go to the end of the city. Because trust me, if you try to go to the end of the city, you will stay with Rams still forever. You're not one, there's no oxygen there. Yeah, uh, oh, well, I don't have an option yet in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> you know? but, but the passage, it's... it's um, but the, here, the passage, it's not allowed. You will stop here. I will stop here. No, in the visit, we stop there. Exactly. Okay. Because no oxygen. And this is still a question without answer. How the ancient Egyptian people, he made one tomb like this, more than 125 meters inside the mountain without oxygen. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Stay healthy and see you soon.